students in this exercise we will learn about what fill volume in several 3 days we will calculate pound volume in this exercise do you know using the volume utility for initial design checking is helpful but quite often contractors and other outsider users want to see more information about the grading and artwork for their own uses this requirement typically falls into two categories a cut fill analysis showing colors or contours or a grade of cut fill tick marks so color cut fill maps are helpful when reviewing your site for the location of movement some sites have areas of using material or can have areas when where the cost of cut is prohibited such as in rock so in this exercise we will use a uh, surface analysis method for cut fill on our site open your drawing 414 from the description link which you will get and it will zoom to you on the pound area on our site from the analyze tab volume and material panel you will look at volume dashboard and click on to display the volume dashboard in the panorama click the create new volumes button to display the create surface now notice that the type of already set to tin volume surface you also have the option to select grid volume surface but we will stay with tin volume now change the name to pond volume here and style should be elevation bending 2d for now then click the base surface field next to base surface and select existing surface now click the ellipsis to select the comparison surface which is found and click ok now Civil 3D will calculate the volume. If the view unit opens, click the green check mark in the upper right corner to dismiss the box. You can note that you can scroll right or left to the side, and you can also scroll your panorama. At the side of the screen so you can watch on your screen clearly this new volume surface appears in prospector surface collection also here but notice that the icon is slightly different showing two surface staked on each other here so now leave panorama open and in tools test prospector expand surfaces right click uh, on volume and select surface properties on the analysis tab here change number of ranges to 2 and click run the analysis button change maximum elevation for id one zero and for minimum elevation zero for id two according to the color scheme the cut will now be in red and the field will be display in purple click ok to close the surface properties dialog box in prospector, 
spin the surface found and definition patches right click edits and select the rise lower under the edit sorry under the pound definitions and then we have add this then select rise lower when you will click on rise lower it will ask you for amount to add the elevation just write minus 0.075 Notice that a uh, yellow exclamation flag has been appeared next to the volume surface in panorama as well as in the prospector. So panorama no longer lists the volume and instead stayed out of dated here. So right click the pound volume surface in panorama and select rebuild option right click the pound volume surface again and select properties surface properties on the analysis tab click the run analysis button to rerun the analysis notice that the minimum and maximum elevation has been updated so change maximum elevation for id and ID1 and minimum elevation for ID2 0 same like before and click OK to update the color mapping in prospector under the definition branch of uh, pound surface click edits The rise lower added in preview area here you can see and now select delete a dialog box will appear to warning you that the selected definition them item will be permanently removed from the surface so click ok for that and Return to the panorama, right click the pond volume surface and select surface and rebuild all. Sorry, select to the rebuild all and it will give you original volume calculations. Now close panorama when completed. In prospector, right click pond volume in the surface branch and select surface properties icon. The surface properties dialog box will appear in the surface property dialog switch to the static tab and expand the volume here. The volume shown for net volume is unadjusted. It's the same as that shown in the panorama in the, in the first part of this exercise. So in the surface property dialog box, switch to the analysis tab for the elevation analysis type. Verify that create ranges by is set to number of ranges and that the value should be three now and then click the run analysis button to populate the ranges of details area change maximum elevation for id2 and minimum elevation for id3 0.0 eight zero point zero eight then 
change a maximum elevation for id1 and minimum elevation for id2 should be minus 0 0.08 and minus 0 0.08 you can modify your color scheme by double clicking the color to be modified. The recommended color are red, yellow and green. Red, yellow and we have also green here. Where red indicates the rust case cut and green represent the rust case fill and yellow represent a balance. Now click OK to close the surface properties. Now save your drawing and keep it open for the exercise. The volume surface now indicates areas of <coughs> cut, areas of fills and areas that are nearly balanced. To show where large amount of cut or fill could incur additional costs such as compaction or excavation protection. So you would simply modify the analysis range as required. The elevation bending surface is great for uh, on screen analysis but the color fills are to be dense for most plotting purposes and can show slow down the performance of the drawing. So in the next exercise, we will use the contour analysis tools to prepare cut fill contours in these same colors. Stay tuned for the next.